Hi, I'm Tommy. This is Ryan, our product manager for Sound of Gaming. And Ryan had a live chat yesterday with Complexity Gaming. How did that go? Went really good. Um, I was really excited to be in front of the uh, the Complexity audience for the first time. We've been supporting them for a long time, but uh, and I've been on the forum, but I haven't like gotten to speak um, and like interact with them. So it was good. <laughs> there were some pretty crazy questions going on in the comments and stuff like that. So for me, it was kind of a new format. I've never done. Uh, like a live chat before. What were some of the questions that people were asking? Um, so the, the, the main number, the biggest questions were, you know, uh, I think the, the spirit of a lot, I'd say over 50% of the questions are what makes this headset different. Biggest difference is obviously our Blizzard was involved in development of the of the product, very involved in development, and that's the way we wanted it. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, the fact that we built it from the ground up, designed to be an awesome gaming headset. It wasn't just a uh, oh, this looks cool, and let's you know put some shiny lights in it. It actually was, right. hey, what would a World of Warcraft player want to wear on their head? And so that was the philosophy that we took when designing the headset. And the, and the other thing was, uh, it's expensive. So people are saying, oh, it's costly. You know, mm -hmm. what are we paying for? And you're paying for that design. You're paying for that conscious thought that we're bringing something new. Right. But also, I think a lot of people overlook what you're getting when you get the headset. Mm -hmm. um, y there's so much in here that's easy to gloss over what uh, what's included. Well, so I think people, it's, I mean, it's hard. So um, as some of you guys know, I, I manage the um, social media channels. So I, I get a lot of questions on Facebook, and, and you mm -hmm. see them as well, too. Yeah. And, and people are constantly saying, um, well, not constantly, but every once in a while, we get some people who are saying, you know, this is a, a fairly substantial amount of money that we would yeah. be sinking into a headset. And I think that it's difficult when you have the computer between you yep. to be able to really understand what the experience is like. And, yeah. and I explained it like you can, you know, you can watch videos on um, your <laughs> iPod screen or your iPhone yep. or whatever, and it works just fine. You can see it. Yep. But if you really want an experience yeah. that you're, you know, completely surrounded in. Yep. And and I think that essentially that's what WoW is all about. You want to be as into the game yeah. as you can be. Yeah, and, absolutely. And I think that the sound quality of this, I mean, it blew my mind. Yeah. And anybody who's put it on, I know, yep. it's completely surpassed any of their expectations. Even, even reviewers, pretty critical reviewers who've been really critical of us in the past, some of the harshest reviewers we've gone against that are fair. They're absolutely fair reviews. Right. They were skeptical, especially on the wireless side, like, oh, you're not going to be able to deliver the sound like we're expecting. Right. And even I've had them even come up and say, okay, what are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. And that was why we waited. And that was the experience we wanted. Right. So that, to me, was the win. That was like the, okay, yeah. We, we did the right thing. We waited, and we didn't bring something to market too fast. Right. Um, and, and the, the you know, going back to what's in the headset, why is it so expensive? When you look at wireless devices in general, you could buy a little tiny Bluetooth headset. You know, mm -hmm. you could get the super cheapy ones that everybody knows don't work. <laughs> um, but once you start getting into the higher range ones that actually work, you're already talking about $99, $129, yeah. $159. And that's way... Uh, less expensive tech than what we have in our wireless headset, mm -hmm. and th th and that goes to uh, that's just one piece. Mm -hmm. um, so it's you know you have that piece, then you have the THX in there. And when you when you hear the words THX, you know it's quality. That's the number one thing. And THX has built their entire definition of themselves as a company based on this experience that when you see that THX logo, you know you're going to get a certain level of experience. Mm -hmm. So you have that and you have all of the R&D that we've put into the THX, um, the software with us and, and THX. Um, and then you have all the other features, the lights, which, um, you know, honestly are just kind of an innovation. They're all, there was something we threw in there and said, hey, originally we were going to go with colored lenses. So we were going to have a colored lens with white lights and behind it mm -hmm. and then you could get different colored lenses and we were going to have the classes be locked into the colors so everybody mm -hmm. knows warlocks are purple right. um, hunters are yellow or rogues are yellow hunters are green um, and we were going to have the class colors be the with the icon and that would be so you see purple and blue you know it's a warlock on the alliance side right. um, and one of the things early on that blizzard said is hey couldn't we make it so that the headset ch could change colors and make the lenses you know, kind of um, agnostic or, you know, they, they don't have any color to them, mm -hmm. but make it the lights. And we said, you know what, we'll look into that. And so we, we looked into that. And that is another level. I think a lot of people in the chat yesterday were surprised that they thought that 
because on the box we show the blue and red all the time, right. I think they think that it comes with blue lenses and red lenses and yeah. you're stuck. And when I demoed the software of like pulling the the, uh, the, the color around, people are like, oh my God, in chat, they're like, whoa, you can change the colors? And it's, yeah, you can, 16 million colors. There. Yeah. So what's inside behind this is an RGB LED. So it's a red, green, blue, little micro um, LED. Mm -hmm. And because you have those three colors in there, you can basically create 16 million colors in the software and it tells it what color to change to. Right. So that was a cool factor for people, you know. Um, and, and I think that the wow side is all about customization. Like you play the game, you want pimped mounts, you want little pets to follow you around, you want awesome massive shoulders with glowing fireballs and things like that because it's all about advancing your character or tune. And um, we wanted that same experience like in the real world for the WoW players. So right. we wanted them to be able to show off what they loved. And um, we actually have a couple more surprises coming on the pipe that will let you do it even more so mm -hmm. um, based around the headset in the future. So we're pretty, uh, I think, you know, we're delivering an experience, we're delivering technology, and it's not just a headset that's, oh, here's World of Warcraft. It's a headset that has a ton of tech in it. Like, there is no other headset on the market that's as advanced as this one is, yeah. period. Mm -hmm.